boxing video on Thursday afternoon. Drinking some kind of gross coffee. I bought some uh, pre-ground beans to make some cold brew, and I thought I'd make some hot coffee with it. It's Mexican chocolate. Um, it's a the the market that's around here is a local brand. It's kind of gross. Um, so, a box. Like I said, this is from my buddy Angel. Um, he sent. I'm actually. I don't know what's in this box. Um, we just discussed we we're gonna send him a couple things, and uh, we both know what we like. So, I have an idea what I'm gonna send him. I'm not gonna say on this video because I don't want to spoil it. He knows some, but I don't want to spoil any of the surprises that may go in there. Ooh, Finback. Good night, dark sky. Imperial stout with chocolate, vanilla, and coconut. Nice. Now, I, I know we get Finback here, but I'm not sure if, if we get these. Um, Dougie's Briggery? Is this a collab? I've noticed Finback collabs are the hardest to realize. Like, they're so, like, they're so small, like, like when they put the actual collaborary on the, in the back. Uh, but either way, yeah. Chocolate, vanilla, and coconut. Sign me up. Hashtag Bill. Maris goes to Oceanside. This is like Maris the Otter, right? English style barley wine with coffee. Oh shit! A collaboration between Timber Ales, Horace, Horace Aged Ales, and Minfell. Minfell. Uh, Timber Ales. Yeah, he was telling me about this. His it, it's actually one of his buddies who who runs Timber Ales, and he was saying that he wasn't much of a barley wine guy, but or he was, and he liked it. Um, either way, he said it was. He, he said that 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 this beer was very good. And barley wine with coffee. Right up my alley. Brewed and packaged by Timber Ales, North Haven, Connecticut. 11% distributed by 12%. Um, yeah, so it's a shame that Mike and I aren't getting together, so there's no way we can do a lot of these a lot of these beers together. Um, but that one's barley wine with coconut, so perfect. And the form factor is amazing. Ooh, the next two. I see the breweries, and I'm already excited. Greenpoint Nightlife 7.2% IPA. Uh, da, 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 da. Cancel your plans. Nope, doesn't say what hops are in it, but uh, the finest ingredients. Greenpoint, they're out of Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Brooklyn. Um, I, I don't, I think I've done one beer review of them on here. Um, whenever he sends me them, I just drink them because they're so freaking good. Um, and I just kind of, I don't know, I just drink them. I apologize. I should do a review. I'm going to try to do a review with this one. Uh, oh shit even more straight out of the marshmallow laboratory evil twin brewing um oh evil twin equilibrium collab double dry hopped triple ipa with marshmallow and citra holy shit equilibrium makes some crazy stuff and the stuff that that that's been coming out of uh, out of uh out of um Evil Twins New York facility has been crazy. Here's another Nightmare beer. He knows I love Nightmare. And it's coffee, so I don't feel bad about drinking this without Mike. Uh, Imperial Coffee Stout with Chilean, blackberry, Chilean blueberries and hand-roasted coffee beans from Flux Coffee. It has Flux Coffee's uh, logo on it. Uh, what's the name of this beer? Perilla. I don't know what it means, but we're going to find out. So, crazy crazy can art from nightmare as usual uh interesting to get into this one interesting to see uh how that 16 percent comes through oh yes torch and crown double ipa uh refugee uh let's see does it say what's on it nope it does say nope not not what's on it but a double ipa the hazy pale ale that Mike and I reviewed a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. If I, if, if if I remember when I post this, I'll just link to it. Um, that beer was awesome for four something percent as a hazy pale. It was fucking delicious, and I'm so excited to actually try. Like you know, this is a double IPA, so it's, a, it's beefier. It's not it's not the same beer, but I mean like I'm I'm looking forward to trying a, a proper uh, proper double IPA um, from these guys. So that is that is it. Um, shit so look on the be on the lookout for some solo reviews um the next few weeks of these um depending how things go stout wise there's a chance no i don't know how long we're gonna be in 
quarantine for probably is for another month or two. Um, so I don't know if Mike and I will be able to get together to do uh, a video side by side and share some beers together, but, um, been look out for reviews, solo reviews of these, um, by, by, by moi. And, uh, also obviously we're going to be posting remote reviews. We're recording tomorrow. Can't wait for it. Um, just hopefully that, uh, the beers that, that we have that are the same can last for a while while we're getting all through this. Uh, if not, Mike's going to get on the ball and, uh, start recording some solo reviews himself. But anyways, Thank you again, Angel, for sending these. I can't wait to dive into them. Some of them maybe have to happen tonight, maybe. And um, yeah, let us let me know down in the comments if you've had anything by, or, or if you've had any of these um, beers that are right here, these awesome looking beers. You know what you think of them? And uh, again, look, be on the lookout for some of the reviews. Maybe all of them, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see what happens. And uh, I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense. Cheers. Cheers.